um, next thing okay that we're going to learn okay is uh, file management okay which is one of the major responsibility of the OS okay that operating system have to be the one who manage okay how the file is stored on the storage for us okay again everybody know the file very well okay so actually I don't have to explain you that much what is the file okay because you use it every day okay so again the file is just the uh, part okay of the uh, data structure okay that managed by OS so that the user okay can maintain their information okay permanently okay in the storage okay so without having file that is <laughs> almost a like pointless to have an application okay but still some application doesn't need to store data permanently but most of application need to store data permanently so the OS must provide the file okay so OS will help the uh, user will help the programmer to manage the file okay so again the file okay have to be the long-term assistant okay should be shareable okay between process okay and should have the structure that user can access the data inside the file okay quickly okay but again depend okay for example if OS doesn't have the characteristic of shareable on the file would this still work to have the file without sharing in other words one file let's say sharing it could mean different point of view sharing at the same time okay or sharing between user but not the same time okay sharing at the same time just like concurrency access okay so sometimes you may want to allow many projects to access the file at the same time okay that's a concurrency okay but sharing the file but may not be at the same time but you allow some people to see allow some people to write some people to read okay but might doesn't might not have to be at the same time okay so with the today technology okay OS try to provide this feature okay for example okay would you love to share the file at the same time or not no why not why you don't like to share the file at the same think about you open one file let's say Microsoft Word you type something and your friend also typing that is that a cool thing to do no you think that it's a cool thing to do you open Excel you fill number in this one cell another person fill something else on another cell you think it's a good idea or not good idea huh ah today we have something else beyond what you have seen the thing that I said is already exists in the cloud like Google document if you use Google document okay including the Google Doc Google sheet okay many of these allow user to do concurrently not only write but concur not only read concurrently concurrently like write data on the same file you can open one spreadsheet one person fill up this cell, another person fill another cell, the third person fill another cell. When that person fill the cell, they enter, boom, it show, and it show to everyone who open that file at the same time. Okay, so the cloud, okay, in Google Cloud, just an example, okay, or the Microsoft have Office 360 that also do something similar, okay, would allow people to share the file at the same time, to access it, to write it, to correct the file, edit the file at the same time. Okay, but again, that beyond just the OS. OS provide the basic. Okay, allow many people to access. Okay, but again, the cloud also have their own OS. They manage their file. Okay, so they manage in the way that not only one person can write, but now many person can write. Okay, but the question is, two person sharing the same file at the same time. Okay. 
they may have an issue of concurrency on particular part of that file. For example, okay, let's say you open Excel. Excel have column number A, B, C, D, E, right? And Excel have row number one, two, three, four, five. Okay, let's say one person try to fill in B3, one cell, B3. I try to fill in B3. If Junior want to fill in data on B3 at the same time, the question is, that become issue. But if I try to fill B3, he try to fill B5, is that an issue? No, we fill one different cell. That is two different things. But if we both try to put data on B3 cell at the same time, that become issue. So what do you think? What Cloud would do? If I try to write value 7 on B3, he try to write 5 on B3, what would happen? It depends who write last. If I type 7 and then I plus enter, and then just say 0.5 seconds later on, junior type 5 and press enter. What happened? The data would be 7 or 5. 7 right first, 5 right later. 5 will be on top of 7. That's the basic rule of write the data. Okay, you write last, that person will be, okay, will replace the old one. Okay, so that's a little bit issue. Okay, if you use the cloud, Google Cloud document, they will show the color. For example, if I try to write on B3, okay, Junior will see that on that cell they're going to have color. And you move mouse over, you're going to see my name, Nalung Lin. <laughs> and on my, 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 my sheet, I'm going to see Junior name on my sheet. So I already know that Junior writing B3, so that would be my <laughs> stupidity that I try to write at the same cell that I should not do. Okay. Anyway, ah, but basic OS okay, must provide okay, to allow people to share the file, okay, to access the file with maybe different right permission. Okay. okay, what do you think? What right permission that we could have on the file? Oh. Yeah. Tick, tick, tick. Okay, what permission on file that we could have? Hey. Oh, you fail Linux. What permission on file that user can have? On a file. Read? Write? X? <laughs> X. Reddit X. <laughs> Execute. Okay, at the end mark. Thank you. And book and some name. I forgot. What's your name again? I forgot. Ben. Okay, uh, Ben. No, you didn't answer. I asked you and then you didn't answer. Okay, so you can have read, write, execute. Agree? That's the basic that we have seen. That's the permission on the file that you can give to the user. What else that could it be? Oh, besides read, write, execute that you have seen in, in, in Linux. Anything else that could it be? Modify. Ah, okay. If you have modify, right is a modify. If you said modify, so then it means right could mean two things. One is to modify, another one. Right could be separate in modify and before modify you create. Ah, can see the face and then she can mark the point. Okay, so right could be Modif in, it could be extend in modify or not, or created or not. Someone might not have the right to create a new thing, but be able to change the thing that already been created. So you may set, okay, the OS may set permission to be the one who create or the one who can edit. Okay, actually in the Linux, oh sorry, in the cloud, they have this permission. The permission that allow person to edit the file or not. Okay, but might not allow person to create a file. But actually create, when you create a file, where do you create a file? In the main memory, wrong. <laughs> where do you, huh? No, 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 we talk about management of file. Where do you save your file? Logically, not physically. How did it physically? Ah, 
file folder or directory. Okay, so to create a file, actually, is the, in the Linux, it means that you have write permission on directory or folder. That it means you can create a new file. Okay, so in Linux, they have the permission, but they don't, they don't put permission for the file, but permission for the folder, the location to store the file. Okay. There is one another permission on the file, like to extend it or to share the file to somebody else. Like for example, I'm the owner of the file. I may give Ben the permission to edit. The question is, Ben have a permission to edit, but Ben might not or may have permission to give the permission to somebody else to expand the, the ownership of the file to somebody else or not. Okay, so I give to Ben, maybe Ben can edit and can edit only, but she may or may not be able to allow her friend to edit. Okay, so that is another kind of permission. Okay, to give permission to somebody else. Okay. Ah, again, it is the operation on the file that you have seen before. Create, delete. Oh, delete is another one. Right? If we can create, we can modify, we can delete. Okay? And delete is also a big issue okay, on the, any system. Okay? Because the key thing of the whole thing that we learn in this, you are. <laughs> Major computer side. Okay, what is a computer side? Oh. What is computer system? What the purpose of computer system? Calculation? Calculate what? Uh, the main purpose of computer is to manage the data, manage information. Without data, without information, computer is nothing. Can computer lift the chair up? No, computer cannot lift the chair up. Computer cannot do anything really physically. Computer can do things like logically to contain data, contain information. That's the purpose of computer. Okay, so if the computer cannot help you okay, maintain the data, then that is pointless. Okay. Okay, ah, so delete is also a major. Open and close, okay. Why do we need to have open and close? Oh. Why we need to have open and close? Oh, why file need to have this operation? Can we write a file without open? Why we have to open it first? Ah, we open it for the purpose of lock. You want to lock somebody else, especially you an open file for write. Okay, we don't want somebody else to write on the same place at the same time. So we open it, we tell OS that we did open this file for write, then somebody should not try to open the same file to write at the same time. Okay, but if we open for read, then another person can open it for read too. Okay, so open is to tell the OS that someone try to access this file. Okay, but access for read, write is it, another one that you have to notify OS. Okay, so the opposite, the opposite is the close. So why do we need to close? Huh? Save to delete? No, it's the opposite of open. Why do we op need to do open? You try to notify OS, someone access. So the clause is the opposite. You try to tell OS, know that you're not using this file anymore. So OS can give this file to somebody else who want to open. Okay. So that's why when you write a program as a programmer, after you finish using the file, okay, you should close the connection from that file. Okay. So then the OS can give this file to other process to access. Okay, so this is the structure of the file that commonly known. Okay, file may have field, have record, 
okay, and sometimes, okay, you combine many files together, we call a database. Okay, it depends, database here, it might not be the database that you have learned. Okay, database you have learned is a relational database. The relational database never show you how the file managed by the database would look like. They don't care. Okay, they don't want you to know either. Okay, it's their own way to manage the file. Okay, but database here means just a collection of files. Okay, like long time ago, there is one database called, when it was young, DBase. Have you heard this word? DBase. It's an old database. That database managed these two together as a table, because one table composed of record, and one record composed of many fields. Okay, and one table is one file. If you create five tables, that database will give you, create five files for you. Okay, so database here is just the collection of multiple files together. Okay, if you have relationship or not, it depends on how the management of that database would do. Okay. Okay, so I don't have to explain you this because you know them very well. Okay. Ah, again, in terms of OS point of view, the objective of having the file management system, okay, to make sure that it, current, it allow multiple users to access, okay, would allow the way that people can use it, okay, access it easily, okay, not like user said, I create a file, database said, okay, you create a file, and then once a while, not database, sorry, OS, OS create your file. Once a while, OS just lost your file. <laughs> Would you be happy with this OS? Okay, or the user said, I want to store this data permanently. So it's the responsibility of OS that try to hold this data forever for you. Okay. But is it forever? Depends, depends on the ability of OS sometimes. Okay, you may have a problem that beyond OS can help, like for example, hardware fail. If your hard disk fail, hard disk broken, then OS cannot help you, okay, because there's a hard hardware failure. Okay, but let's say hard disk is not broken, but OS manage the file structure, have a pointer to this file. Once a while, this pointer disappear. <laughs> OS doesn't know where this file on hard disk anymore. That's a defect of the OS. Okay, so OS must not lose the pointer of the file for you. Okay, so OS must serve, okay, whatever user need to dealing with the file, okay, try to perform optimization on the file, okay, to access the file should not take too long, okay, try to find a way to gather the file that could be big, that can put in many parts of the hard disk and still be able to access them, okay. Or try to I said, minimize the loss of the file. Okay. Like for example, I think maybe the Apple still doing this. Apple have something they call time machine, right? What is the time machine? Ah, to help you automatically, okay, back up your data, your file. Somewhere that we don't know where it is, but you can go back in time and go back to that generation of the file. Okay, you may have previous versions. Okay. Can you do that on Windows? Do Windows have the kind of time machine? Why is it? Oh, that's a backup? Okay, that's a backup. Okay. Ah, we need to turn it on, and the window will back up automatically. Okay. Again, again in terms of backup, it's up at the OS. Try to provide you the tool to back up. You do it or not, it, sometimes it's up to you. Okay, but for the Macintosh, that we come with default as a time machine. Okay. Actually, Cloud also have this feature. The Cloud, you can see the history of your file in the past. Okay, easily. Okay, including to provide the multiple access, multiple user access to the file. Okay, especially on the read at the same time. 
Okay, so again, for the user point of view, okay, user can create, delete, can use the file, okay, can store the file permanently, okay, can move the file from one place to another place, can rename the file, okay, so this is the thing that user want. Okay, in terms of the okay, way we organize okay, this file, okay, again, at the low level of the hardware, okay, you're going to have the hardware to store your file. Okay, the hardware may be disk, okay, maybe tape, okay, maybe SD card. Okay. So whatever hardware is, OS will have the driver to connect to that hardware. Okay, and after that, OS will build the logical concept of the data that you store in the physical concept. This is the physical down here. Okay, so OS will manage them in the file system. Okay, have some kind of basic I.O. access. Okay, have logical I.O. and have the way that we organize the file in different way. It depends on okay, how we intend to use the file. Okay. Like, for example, Pi. Again, this is a basic idea. Okay, what is uh, Pi file? Oh, uh, oh, this is the access method. Okay, I, I come back to this access method. Okay, so in terms of to organize the file, okay, file will have their own structure to organize them. Okay, to organize the file, we want to make sure that user who use the file can access the content of the file quickly. Yes or no? If you want to read this part of the file, okay, you said jump to page 20. Okay, or it should help you get data from the hard disk and show you page 20 quickly. Okay, you don't want to go jump to page 20, wait for five minutes, page 20 show up. Okay, so in terms of access file, okay, the organization of the file, okay, should, okay, number one, make sure that you have a short access time. Okay, user can change the content easily. Okay, the uh, economy of storage should not cost you too much. Okay, should be easy to maintain. Okay, and this is why Windows is popular. Why Windows is popular compared with Linux? Is it easier to use the file on Windows compared with Linux? Okay, so some people prefer something simple. Okay, users who have no idea much about computer, they want something simple to use. Okay, so simplicity is one of the key success of the file management. Okay, and have to be reliable. Okay, that you should not lose the file easily. Okay, again, there are many way, any type of file organization that OS can help manage for you. Okay, like number one, Pi file. What is pi file? Pi. What does it mean, pi? Yeah, almost like it's a tag. Okay. Oh. What is another word in data structure that we use? Heap. Ah, okay. Kind of similar word. A heap. What is a heap? It's a pile of things. Okay. Again, pi file. Okay. Just similar to the idea of the heap. You just put them up. Just like it's a tag in another way. Okay, so the Pi file is a simple data structure okay, of the file management. Okay, that you want to put things in the file, just put them. Okay, so they don't care what inside this file, they just put one next to another. Okay, they don't care the length. Okay, okay so in this picture that you're going to see in terms of structure of the file, they assume that. One file that you're going to store the data okay, should have some kind of structure that a file may have many records and one record may have many fields. Okay, so the Pi file, this is one record, this is another record. This one has so many records and then you may have many fields inside this record. Okay, for example, okay, if you use the text file okay, from your point of view, a Pi file, just like text file, you just go new line, new line, new line, new line, one record. 
Okay, but for OS, it doesn't mean it's just a new line. Okay, OS, it says that a pi file is a file that you store the data on the hard disk consecutively without concern how long of one record would be. Okay, just keep continuous. Okay. So it's very simple to create. Okay, but what's wrong with kind of pi file? A, a, a file that not really have good organization. You just put record next to another record, 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 record. It's simple to create, but it's not so good for the access. For example, you want to read a record. Actually, again, this picture looks like go to the new line, but it's not like this. Okay. Actually, it would look like okay. Oh. okay. It may look like one record, second record, third record, fourth record, fifth record, like this. You know, also another way to look at a pi file. Okay, but I try to show you in different lines so it's easy to understand. Okay. So the data is, is being collected in their order. Which one comes first? Put in that order. Okay, so to create this data into a file, it's easy, simple. Just put at the end of the file. Keep continuing. Okay. But let's say if you want to access, let's say, field number three of record file. Why is field number three of record file? Where is field number three? Let's see one record have ten fields, just an example. Okay, where is the field number three of record five? If you put them like this, you have to search the end of the first record. Agree? And then you have to search the end of the second record, search the end of the third record, the end of fourth record, and then now you file fifth record, and then you're gonna find the field number three. Okay, of the Okay, uh, fifth record. Okay, so here to be able to search on the Pi file, have to do sequential search. Okay, what's wrong with sequential search? It's slow. It takes a lot of time to do. Okay, so Pi file simple to create. Okay, but take too long to access. Okay. Okay, so that why? Okay, they said. To be able to access quickly, okay, we should do something like sequential file. What is sequential file? Sequential file, okay, try to make sure that everything is fixed side. If everything is fixed side, the way you navigate, you can jump, right? Just like when you use random access files, you remember? Okay, when you do random access file, if you know exactly the first field is 5 byte, second field 10 byte, 20 byte, 5 byte. Okay, 5 plus 10 plus 20 plus 5 is 40. Then if you want to jump to the field number 5, you jump 40 times 5, and then you get that. Actually, 40 times 4. Okay, then you get to the beginning of the fifth row quickly. Okay, so to help maintain the data, Okay, that mainly used for the access. Okay, not mainly to create and store. Okay, so for that case, you should use sequential file. OS should maintain sequential file for you instead of Pi file. Pi file is only easy to store. Okay, but not easy to, not uh, very slow to access. But this one could be fast for access. Okay, so it's a fixed length record. Okay, with the Pi file is very length record could be any size. Okay, you can have as many fields that you want. Okay, but this one is the length of each record is fixed. In other words, the field in each record also fixed. Okay, and then you can jump to find the data by calculate location easily. Okay. Now, if you can have the uh, sequential file for that case, 
to exit it without calculation. Okay, sometimes okay, you want to exit them over with the data that you want to search, you make the index sequential file. Okay, and we also have a next one, index file. What is uh, index sequential file? Okay, it's a file that you add an index to help you access. Okay, so with this file, okay, if you want to find the fifth record, you can calculate. Right? For example, if one record is 40 bytes, you want to jump for the fifth record. You use 40 times 4, 160, and then you're going to jump, shoop, 160 is here, and then exit from there. Okay? But that one, you exit the file by using record number or field number. But if you want to find where is Tom, let's say it is the ID, name, address, salary, where is Tom? Do you know where is the Tom? Let's say it is the name. Which one have Tom? You don't know which one have Tom. You have to jump 10. If it's not there, jump to 50. Let's say 40 is 10, 50, 90, 130. Then you're going to search for value for each of them. So content, okay, had nothing to do with the site. The site can help you to find specific record number or field number, but you don't know the data. But if user want to search by the data, then you have to create something else that helps you search by the data, and that's the index. Okay, index could help you search okay, by the data. Okay, so index sequential file must have index file. Okay, index file will help okay, along with the index sequential file. Okay. Again, index sequential file is a file okay, that has index. Okay, so you need to have the index file. Understand? <laughs> Again, you have a file without index that calls sequential file. But if the, if the file allows you to have index to access, this file called index sequential file. So index sequential file need to have index file. Okay. So index file will store the data, okay, some data maybe, or maybe every data that you want to search. Okay. So this is say the thing that you learn in database. Okay, the same idea. Okay. What do you think? Window have this kind of index? Oh. Window have index? What do you think? Does window have index? Somewhere? In for each file? Window itself? OS itself? Usually this kind of thing okay, is beyond the OS. Okay, so they may keep to particular application to do it, to help the user to search okay, on particular content. Okay, but some application do this one automatically, okay, so that you can search that okay, the data from that app easily. Okay, another structure of the file is the base of the data structure. Okay, time to wake up. The class starts at twelve forty-five. <laughs> It's time for him to wake up. Ah. What is uh, hash file? What it has? What it has? Function. Ah. What kind of function has? Hash function is kind of algorithm. Okay. Ah, is the, the head function will work with the data structure, okay, to help you access the data in that data structure, okay, in one shot. Remember, the head function is a function that use the data itself to be input of the function, and the output of this function will be the location of the thing that you want to search. Okay, so another word. Okay, you may have a file 
that maintain the data inside the file okay, in specific location according to the hash function. Okay, so you may make a big empty space okay, and you create your own, uh, the, the system create a hash function and then the hash, you pass the value that you want to store the file to function first and then function return location and then you store that one in that location. Okay, so the hash function, okay, again, just like the one that we have seen. Okay, let's say for example, if you want to store Tom, why is the Tom? Okay, so the first time, let's say, you're going to create the file. Okay, if you want to store this value, this value is going to pass to the hash function. Okay, hash function will return the address. Let's say whatever function it is, you passing Tom, they return 57. Okay, Tom will store somewhere in location 57. Let's suppose it did it 57. Okay, and then let's say you want to store data. Uh, Nick. Okay, where is the Nick? Nick may return 37. Then 37 is somewhere here. Oops, it is a Nick. Okay, whatever okay, value, some value, okay, return in different place. Okay, my may return 200. Then the my will be somewhere here. 200. Okay, so the function will return the address, and then the data that you want to store will locate in that address. Okay, and when you want to search, you do the same thing. You want to search the nick. You don't just go sequential search. Why is the nick sequential search? You don't do that. You just pass the word nick in the function, and the function will return location, and then you jump to that location, Choop. and you get the nick. Okay. So the idea of hash function is that you can access the data okay, without searching. Okay. But instead of searching, you calculating. Okay, or compute the function. Okay, so which is likely to be less time to get the data from the file. Again, because the file is uh, I.O. Okay, to search the data on I.O. take a lot of time. You rather use CPU to calculate. Okay, and jump to the I.O. only one time to get data. Understand? Okay. Ah. Hey, interesting. Pricing table, schedule. Oh. Schedule. Schedule. Google Calendar. Is that schedule? Kind of. Okay. With the Google Calendar, you know calendar that you use on your phone? The color have the date, the time, right, which is specific place. Okay, so that can use the hash file. You want, to, you want to know, what do I have to do on June 20 at 10 o'clock? You just pass this value, and then they know the location, they jump to that page, and then you get you the data. Okay, so this kind of okay, so, uh, application okay, can use the okay, hash. Okay, again, hash is access the data, which uh, seems to be number one, the minimum amount of time. What is the disadvantage of hash? What do you see, thank God, on the hash, huh? Yeah, disadvantage. What is the disadvantage of hash? Huh? Disadvantage. Advantage is super fast. Faster than pi, faster than sequential, faster than even though you have index. Huh? What's wrong with the memory? Ah, okay, look at this example. Let's say this is my file. I have only three values, but how much space do I use? Because, because we don't know what data is going to be. We're going to prepare big space for this file. Okay, without knowing what data is going to be added, but we just prepare space to be ready. Okay, so you're going to have a lot of wasting space. This is a waste space that you don't use. 
Okay, the as function or head system okay, will help you access quickly, but they're gonna prepare space for you to be ready to add a new data. Okay, but even though you don't have that data yet. Okay, so that's the disadvantage of has. Use more space okay, than the information that you may have in your system. Okay, but it's very fast access. Okay. Yeah, when you exit, it only allow only one shot of exit. Okay, okay, that's uh, just an example of okay the way that OS could create a file in different data structure. Okay, understand? Okay, again, if you create with let's say. Let's say you create this one, okay, using the sequential file, okay. Uh, let's say, uh, let me have something else, okay. Nick, uh, 20 years old, okay, ah, uh, live in New York, okay. Tom, 100 years old, live in London, okay, Mike, Okay, it is very long. <laughs> Mike is 52 years old. Okay, live in Tokyo. That's an example. Okay, let's say you make it hash. Okay, and you use the name to be the value on in the hash function that you can show the that you can identify the location. Okay, let's say if we're gonna start this three person in the pie, what it look like? If you use the pie, if you use the pie, you're gonna have Nick. Oh, actually, which one I start first? Actually, Tom first. Actually, no, 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 this Tom, Nick, Mike. Okay, the pie will go in the order of creating at the first time. Okay, so you're gonna have. Uh, Tom, 100, London. Okay, there is one record. Okay, and then you will continue with uh, Nick, 20, New York. Okay, and then you're going to have Mike, where is that one? 52, Tokyo. As they're running out, I put here, why are you Tokyo? That's an example. Okay, they need a Pi file. They all connect next to another. Okay, put them okay, without concerning the site. Okay. Okay, but if you don't use Pi file, let's say it is Pi. It is hash. If I use sequential, what sequential would be? Sequential, everything has to fix size. Okay, let's say the name, let's say the name, give it 10. Let's say number, give it, let's say we have some big number, small number. Let's say it is 10, let's say 5, 10. So then I'm going to have, if I use sequential, okay, I may have Nick, okay, and if Nick is, I allow name for 10 character. So I'm going to reserve this one for 10, six more. Okay, and then let's say number, I use five, by for example, Nick, 20, three more, okay, and then let's say the address also 10, so I can have NY, and 10 of them to be ready. Okay, and it is one record. Okay, the second record will have the same size. Okay, I'm gonna have, second record is Tom, T-O-M, okay, and then let's say, 10, Tom, for 100, 5, okay, and then London, for 10 more, that example, okay, and then, uh, what next, Mike, Mike, for 10, 52, for 5 more, that's an example. And then Tokyo. And 
five more. Like it. Okay, it is uh, ten, five, ten. Ten, five, ten. Ten, five, and then five, five. Okay, ten. It is sequential five. Understand? Let's say if I said the name is 10 bytes, okay, the 8, okay, 5 bytes, that's an example. Okay, add that, another 10 bytes. So each record is 10 plus 5 plus 10, it's 25 bytes. So 25 bytes, one record. Another 25, the second record. It is 25, third record. Okay, for sequential, everything will be fixed. Okay, when you want to search, okay, particular record, you can jump. Okay, that's uh, sequential. Okay. Okay, and then you have index sequential five, okay, and uh, index five. Okay, what is uh, index sequential file for this case? You want to make index sequential file. It's a sequential file that have index. Okay, so you can access sequential file okay, quickly. Okay, so you may have similar sequential file. Okay. What about again? Tom, Nick, Mike. And again, depend on how you uh, design index sequential file. Okay, index sequential file okay, support to have some kind of index number. Okay, so instead of have only this uh, name, address, and age, okay, you may have the index number. Okay, so for example, you may have number one, Tom. Okay. And then you may have them uh, fix size. Tom, one, hey, what is the first one? Tom, 100. Okay, London. Okay, and then you have number two. Okay, actually it may continue, okay. Then we may have this. Mm -hmm. Okay, I may have number two, okay. And then, what's your name again? Nick? Tom, Nick. Okay, 50. Or 20, New York. Okay, and then I have number three. Okay, Mike. Maybe M I K and then E here. Okay, fifty. Is that fifty? Fifty two. Tokyo. That's an example. Okay, so this is the uh, index sequential file. Is the sequential file that you have indexed. Okay, and again, since this one, okay, have the file itself have index. Okay, when you create index sequential file, you should have another file attached to it. Is uh, index itself. Okay, so you may have the one, where is the one, the two, the three. Okay, so you have to maintain where the one is. Okay, the one is here. Okay, the two is 
Where is the two? The two is there. Okay, the three is here. Okay, so that would be address. Okay, the one is at location. Okay, let's say 100. Two is at 140. Okay, three is at 180. That's an example. Okay, so you have index that you can access. Okay, but again, the index okay, doesn't have to be only the sequence that you add. Okay, the index could be index on any information. Okay, so with the index file, with the index on the record number, and you may have index on the name. Okay, let's say index on the name. You're going to have uh, Nick. Actually, Mike first, right? Mike, and then Nick, and then Tom. Okay, where is the mic? Mic is on the, actually the third record, 180. Nick is on the second record, 140. Tom is at 100. Okay, again, did you can have index okay, of the index sequential file. Because every record, you will have index number. Okay, but you can have index file that you can help you search on particular field. For example, you may have index on name, you may have index. Okay, let's say index on edge. What is index on edge? What should I saw? Edge, edge. Eddy? We have 120, 52. The index would be 120, 52. Where would be in here? No, 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 the, the eight. What value? Among 120, 52, which one should be first? 100? No. M and T. 20, and then 52, 100. That's the index. Index supposed to be in the order. That's the property of index. Okay, otherwise you have to do sequential search index. You don't want to do sequential search index. You have the order, you can do like binary search. Okay, and then where is the 20? 20 is the second record, it's 140. 52 is the third record. 100 is the first record. Here, the location. Understand? Okay, that's the index file. Index file will keep the data that help you search and the location. Okay, the data could be, like for this case, the name, the data on it. You may have another index on the address. Okay, it's up to the designer of the file structure. Understand? Okay. So this is a file file. This is sequential file. This is index sequential file that have index for each record. And this is an index file. Understand? Okay, but index sequential file always come with the index, one index for sure. But you may have other index to help you search this file. Let's suppose this is an address. It is a location. Okay, they would be the edge, they would be the name. Okay, this is the uh, index or uh, order number. Index number. Okay, this is the address 100 over here. And it is 140. It is 180. That's an example. The address. 
Again, that also address, okay? But again, this address depends on the value itself will give you the address. Okay? Again, and since we have learned index before, sometimes index is zero. Let's see, if think about if this one you have, okay, let's say three billion people, three billion customers in India. If you have a lot of record in here, it means you're gonna have a lot of record on the index. If you have a lot of records on the index, you also need a lot of time to search, even though in the order you can use binary search, it still takes time. With the hash, it doesn't matter how many billion do you have. They just calculate and get the address exactly, and then they jump. Okay, just one shot. Understand? Okay, how the system may organize the file for us. Okay. And again, it not only depends on the OS, it also depends on the application, okay, who help okay, man maintain this organization of the file. Okay. okay, like database system, they keeping this way, okay, to help you organize the file with the index, sequential file. Ah. I think I jump, I have done one slide. Okay, ah, and actually this one, it also a uh, major issue of the uh, file is to access the file, like I mentioned before, just like file permission. Okay, how could you access the file? Okay. Again, in terms of the file, okay, the file that you store, like you have seen here, you may have multiple records. Okay, the record okay, could be, doesn't have to be consecutive record on your disk, okay, because it depends on how much space that you have on the disk. Okay, some record may be on this part of the disk, another record may be under the same file. Another record of the same file will be another part of the hard disk, could be anywhere on your disk. Okay. So you may have many records on your storage, okay, but OS will make the logical structure for the user that look like you have one file structure, okay. So user access the file via the directory management, okay, the former directory, the file structure will help you get the data in particular record on the physical storage. Okay, so this is uh, file management, okay, and then under that, in terms of ph physical or hardware, OS will taking care of the hardware for you. Okay, also to get the file from the hardware, again, the hardware, we don't really read directly from hardware. We likely to read from the hardware to the buffer, if you still remember, which is the main memory. We read all right, data okay, to the hardware via the buffer first. Okay, so from user point of view, user never really access the hardware. Hardware is controlled by the OS point of view. Okay, but again, to access real hardware, okay, you have the memory to help you access the hardware. Okay, and again, remember this one? What is this one? This is the one that we just learned last week, remember? Short tensor with time, scan, F scan, that's this one. Okay, that is how they're gonna access with block of the storage. So OS will set that schedule, just like we learned on Wednesday. Okay, so they have to pass this one first to choose with block, okay, to read. Okay, and again, they read from the hard disk or storage into the memory first, okay? And from the memory, user will see them over the memory. 
Okay. But again, user don't see memory directly. When user see, user see like record, 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 record. And user will see all the record together as one single file. Okay. But again, to be able to get to a single file, user ha the, have to pass the access control. Make sure, like for example, user can read, can write, then they can access to the file. Understand? Okay, this is overall okay, uh, operation that happen okay, when the user or the program want to access the file. Okay. Okay, so this part again, exit method to read, to write. This one you have permission or not. This one you get the file from which directory. Okay, the file have many records. Each record may separate in block. Okay, that store temporarily over the main memory before get the actual data from the hard disk. Okay. Actually, you have seen almost all of this except I think this one by allocation. And we look it after this. Okay. Have you heard the term file allocation? Yes or no? Have you heard the word file allocation? Ah, FAT. F-A-T. Have you heard FAT? FAT 32, FAT 64? Yeah, that's a file allocation table. Okay, OS maintain where is this file really in the storage, okay, in something we call fat table. Fat table tell that this part of the file locate on this block of storage. Another part of the file locate in that block of storage. So OS will maintain file allocation table, each table for each file. Okay, so the system would know exactly where is this file in the storage, in the hard disk. Okay, so this is one of the things that OS have to maintain. Okay. I like this picture. Should I ask you for the final exam? The overall, file management. Okay. Okay, on Wednesday, we learn, right? We have class. Okay, I can have a quiz on this page. This, this page contains information from both chapter 11 and 12 together. Mainly on 12, chapter on file management. Okay, this picture gives you the overall system, okay, overall management of the file. Okay. Okay, so make sure you understand this picture before next Wednesday. Not only memorize it, <laughs> you not only write down uh, access method, file location, blocking. You have to explain me what is this one, this scheduling, what is this one, user access control. Okay, try to understand the detail of this picture. Okay, and next week we have quiz on this picture. Huh? Hey, I will come. Oh, oh God, I don't have, I cannot come on next Wednesday. <coughs> oh, yeah, 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 I forgot. Ah, okay, you have the quiz and I cannot come. Okay, you have the quiz on next Wednesday. There is a question in the quiz. Oh, it's, all right, I forgot. Right, 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 right. I have to join a seminar. But anyway, ah, here are the question, okay? Make sure you understand each of these. Okay, not only memorize this picture. Okay, but anyway, we still have time. Don't go anywhere. Okay, this is another table that 
Okay, help you to compare. Okay, among the five data structure, five structure. Okay, okay. For example, okay. Ah, what does it mean? Okay, again, there is a grade A, B, D, C, D, E. Okay. Okay, for example, ah, what does it mean A here? What does it mean F? Actually, F is a good thing or bad thing? F, do you like F? Or you like A? You don't like F? Okay, so here, sequential file have F. Okay, <laughs> on the space attribute, it means that how you use the space. Okay, they get the F. If the file is very length, very length is mean the file could be on any side. Okay, if the file could be the each record, each field could be any side. Okay, in the sequential sub sequential file gets an F for the space management. Why? Ah. Why sequential file is really bad. <laughs> okay. In uh, sequential file structure, okay, it's really bad in terms of space usage, especially when you have very length. Why? Hey, for example, it is very length, yes or no? Our oh, example. Look at the name, Tom, three character, Mike, four character. Okay, look at address, some address, two character, and why? Some address. Tokyo, five character. London, six character. That very length. Okay, very length. When you store in the sequential file, what happened? You're gonna have a lot of space because some name is short, some name is long, some at date is super short, some at date is long. You're gonna have a lot of space because sequential file is a fixed length. Okay, so in terms of space, it's really bad. Okay, if the, the content that you have is very length. But let's say if the content is fixed length, for example, you store four number, four number is fixed length. Okay, everyone, uh, I'm talking about one kind of phone. <laughs> let's say mobile phone, or in Thailand, or 10 digit. You get it fixed length. If you fixed length, you declare 10. Then you're gonna be the same size. Then you never have empty space. Okay, so for the fixed length, sequential file, use the space, very good, A. Okay. But in terms of retrieving the data, okay. Retrieving the data, if you do exhaustive search, what does it mean? You go one record at a time. Chup, 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 chup. The one can go one record at a time easily because the size is fixed. You go one record, next record, you multiply by the size. Okay, like for example, 40, 40, 40, 40, you jump by 40, 40, 40, 40. Okay, if you do need to exit every record, sequential exit, uh, sorry, exhaustive exit, exit on every record, you can jump 40, 40, 40. Okay, so if you need to ex exit all of them, okay, and one record at a time, the one can exit easily. Okay. Okay, but if you want to access one record at a time, okay, for example, index and hash, okay, or index sequential, get A, get B, the one you can access data easily, okay, in one shot, you jump. Okay, you get A, get B. Understand? Okay, if you want to access one record, Okay, hash or index or index sequential, get a good score. Okay, but you compare with these two, pi or sequential. If you want to read one record, okay, sometime. If you don't know where the record is, it takes a lot of time. Okay. All right, that is the uh, comparison, okay, among okay, each type of the uh, pi structure. Okay, they also give you the big O. Okay, they depend on the size of the record. Okay. Ah. 
B3 is also another data structure that we have seen. What is B3? Is that B3 is a binary tree? Balan tree? No. <laughs> B3 is not Balan tree. What is B3? It, actually, B3 is. No, it doesn't have to be Balan. No. B3 is not binary tree. Is it? Balan tree structure? Okay, <laughs> Balan tree structure. Is it a binary tree? No, B is not binary. And I don't know what it, why, what is the B said for? Balance tree, okay. Why balance tree say balance tree? Oh. What B tree? Yeah, what does it mean balance? Oh. Hey, why is balance tree? Okay, number one, B tree is binary or not? No, B tree is a multi way tree. If you still remember, one node may point in many pointer. Okay, they point in many of them. Okay, and they try to keep the tree go balanced. Okay, and they try to cut the tree in terms of height, because one node can have many children, so the height of the tree would be less. Okay, and it kind of balanced because every time you insert a node, they may split the tree. Okay, they try to maintain the tree. Okay. Okay, so many systems, okay, especially the database, love to maintain the data using B3. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> okay, ah, we have to go. Okay, again, B3 is a multi way tree. Okay, one node may have many children. Okay, and each the child is going to have their own subtree. Okay. okay, so the way that you search, okay, you may get less than log n, okay, and also you can search at the uh, leaf level. Okay. We need a B3, just say the one that we have seen before. Okay. Ah, okay, I stop here, and next time we continue. Again, next Wednesday, I cannot come to the class, okay. So you have the quiz, okay? <laughs> on this, why that one? On this page, okay? Make sure you understand this page, okay? For the next bit. And for someone who didn't join the lab yesterday, hey, on the Wednesday, okay? Next Wednesday, we will not have lab for the one that who did. On IoT, for the one that missed the lab on last Wednesday, you should do the lab on next Wednesday, okay? All right, okay, see you on, some of you on Wednesday, some of you on Friday. <laughs>